Twitch is deleting all of your highlights and uploads in less than two months. Twitch has instituted a new policy to limit the number of hours of highlights and uploads you can have on your channel. This does not include VODs and clips, just to be clear. Twitch's limit is now going to be 100 hours starting April 19th, 2025. If you go to your stream manager and you go to content and video producer, you will see this limit. First of all, it'll pop up and, and remind you and warn you about this, this new rule that's being enacted. And uh, there's a handy little tracker to tell you how over the limit you are. Now, again, this is for highlights, so you're not going to want to filter by all videos. You're going to actually want to click on the highlight tab and then also the upload tab. And you'll be able to sort by when you created it, the length, and you can sort by the view count. So if you're looking for your longest videos to get under the limit, you're going to want to sort by length. And this is in the correct order that you would need. I have a 47 hour highlight that will need to be dealt with. So this is how you can manage it and deal with it and delete things. Now, what's more frustrating is that Twitch doesn't even provide a solution to the problem. Can I bulk download my highlights or uploads before deleting any content, right? That's what you'd wanna be able to do. Unfortunately, it is not possible to bulk download highlights and uploads. You can only download or export content one at a time. While Twitch doesn't offer for the ability to bulk download, some third-party tools are available that allow you to download your highlights and uploads with less manual work. If you're looking to preserve your highlights, the solutions of dealing with this are free. They can be a little bit cumbersome if you are very much over the limit. You can download highlights, by the way, uh, directly on Twitch. You just can't mass download them. Directly on Twitch, you can export to YouTube. If you click on your little icon in the top corner and you go down to your account settings, settings here, you're going to go to the connections tab and you'll see YouTube. You can connect your YouTube account. This will allow you to directly export any VOD or highlight to your YouTube channel. So once you have this connected, you're going to go back to your creator dashboard, I guess. Go to your video producer and go to highlights. And if you want something on YouTube, you can click this uh, ellipsis and click the export button. You'll be able to set the visibility of the video. I highly recommend setting it on private. That's what it is on default. There are limitations to exporting to YouTube. I don't think you can export past a certain amount of hours. And there's also a limit based on your YouTube account verification. YouTube is great because they will store your video for free until they decide to have their own limits. And I would keep that in mind just because YouTube lets you upload anything and as much as you want and it doesn't cost you a dime, I would not count on that lasting forever. What I would do instead is there are two avenues for keeping your content. You can do cloud storage, which will cost you either monthly or annually, or you can do local storage. So you can download it to your computer or get an external hard drive. And the great thing about a physical storage option is it's a one-time cost. You're not paying like monthly for that. If you're looking for a storage solution, my website streamer deals does track discounts on these things. If you want to click on the storage button, we have storage options that are discounted. There is a 16 terabyte external hard drive for under $300. It's 30% off, which you can see from other options is probably the winner here. So if you're looking for a discount on storage, you can uh, check out deals.streamersquare.com. Now I'm going to talk about how to download them in bulk. There are luckily, again, free tools to dealing with this problem. And actually handily enough, River posted a guide on how to deal with this. There's two tools we're going to need, Twitch Downloader and Commander Roots Video Access Manager. So we go to Twitch tools by Commander Root. Again, this is the video manager, VOD manager tool. So under channel tools, we are going to log in via Twitch. You should be getting a pop-up asking you to authorize your account, but I've already done this before. And it's gonna pull up all of your content. Now we don't wanna back up everything today. This will also back up all your VODs. We actually want to go to broadcast type and it's gonna pull up all of your content. Go to broadcast type and select highlights hit apply filters this takes us to 766 videos click export video url list this is going to give us a csv of all of the videos that are highlights now we download the Twitch downloader so if you go to the github releases is what you're looking for if you're a windows user 
you're going to want to download the Twitch Downloader GUI, not the CLI, unless you know what CLI means and want to use it. I don't recommend it because it's more complicated. This is the easy way to do it. If you are on Mac and Linux, you have to use a CLI tool and I wish you good luck. There is a readme for it. I think if you click on Twitch Downloader, you go down here, there is a readme and it will explain how to use the CLI tool. We're gonna download this tool. You extract the files. You're looking for the Twitch Downloader application. That's this button. So we're gonna double click this. And here is the Twitch Downloader tool. And we're gonna go to task queue. Click on URL list under mass downloads. And we're going to paste the list that we just procured of all of our VODs. So you can like select all copy and there you go all 700 videos are here add to queue select a download folder turn on download video that's what you want you can select your quality and then you're going to click add to queue i would probably do this in like maybe like 50 or 100 increment tr chunks and see if that like that works first pretty straightforward again this is these are all free tools um and i'll have links for them below the video